Hitler's plan after coming into power was of any insane dictator to take over the world. His plan was foolproof. He would take over Europe and Africa by using his allies Japan, Italy, and a great number of Nazi soldiers. Then he would attack the US on the eastern shore while Japan attacked on the western shore. Then Hitler's plan was to take out the Japanese, which would make him the ruler of the world. If he had followed this plan, Hitler would have taken over the world and killed millions of people, making his master race. Hitler's first mistake was not attacking Great Britain. He gave up and attacked Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean, setting Great Britain aside for later. He originally planned on taking out their Royal Air Force, and then he would land 250,000 soldiers on the England shores, which was smart. However, he started focusing on the cities to break British morale by bombing them. The British morale did not break and that plan did not work. Winston Churchill refused to surrender, prepared his men to fight the Nazis by air. Because the pressure was off the airfields, the Royal Air Force was able to obtain two secret weapons. They got the electric tracking system known as radar, which could tell the number, speed, and direction of incoming warplanes. Also, they got the machine called Enigma, that could encode secret German messages. With this information, the British were able to hold off the Germans until Hitler became so stunned by British resistance that he went into the Eastern Front, which was a huge mistake. Now it could be a two-front war. Another mistake. On June 22, 1941, Hitler began the Blitzkrieg invasion of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was not prepared. With its 5 million men, the Red Army was the largest in the world. However, it was neither well equipped nor well trained. Germans pushed 500 miles inside the Soviet Union. Using the same strategy as against Napoleon, Russians retreated, burning and destroying everything in the enemy's path. By December, Germans had advanced to the outskirts of Moscow. The Soviets counterattacked. They had a hundred fresh Siberian divisions and the harsh Soviet winter on their side. As temperatures fell, the Germans, in summer uniforms, retreated. Their fuel and oil froze. Tanks, trucks, and weapons became useless. Ignoring the points of feet 130 years before, the Führer sent their generals a stunning order. No retreat. Nonetheless, Moscow had been saved and it had cost the Germans 500,000 lives. Another mistake was improper communications with the Japanese who led the Americans into war. Hitler had Japan as a distant ally. Japanese attacked the US at the wrong time. After many battles including Pearl Harbor and the Battle of Guadalcanal, President Truman sent order to send an atomic bomb to Japan. The U.S. was in the war. The U.S. along with the British, French, and Canadians were able to bring Hitler down. On June 6, 1944, D-Day was declared. The troops fought their way onto a 60-mile stretch of beach in Normandy. The Germans were protected behind concrete walls three feet thick with machine guns, rocket launchers, and cannons. That day, 3,000 Americans alone died. Despite heavy casualties, the Allies held the beachheads. A month later, more than one million troops landed. On July 
July 25th, 1944, the U.S. and the U.S. allies punched a hole in the German's defenses. Soon the Germans were retreating. Now that Hitler was facing a two-front war from Allied forces and the Soviet Union, he became desperate and had the Battle of the Bulge. At the Battle of the Bulge, Hitler then broke through weak American defenses and pushed into Ardennes. I must escape! Tell our captain so they do not infiltrate our whole base and ruin the war for all U.S. and U.S. allies. Colonel, the Nazis have tanks and they have killed many of our men. We must counterattack now. Men, let's attack! They eventually pushed the Germans back and the Nazis had retreated. By April 25th, 1945, the Soviets surrounded the German capital and started shelling over Berlin. Hitler prepared for his end. He married Eva Braun and wrote his final address to the Germans. In it, he blamed the Jews for starting the war and his generals for losing it. Hitler. Do you take Eva Braun? I do. Eva Braun, do you take Adolf Hitler? No! He gave his wife ah, poison, ah, shot ah. himself. His wife drank the poison, and their bodies were carried out and burned. The world was never the same again. Hitler's reign was over, and millions of Jews had been tortured and executed. Quite rightly, the world asked questions. How could this have happened? Truthfully, answers do not put the responsibility on Hitler alone. He led the reign, but millions of people followed Hitler's orders eagerly, and many others chose to stand and watch him, frightened, silenced. Never again.